you mentioned he's he's a bipolar character, which is a very real disorder. Yeah. I used to work with people with mental health issues, and you portray it so well. How did you go about? Um, do, do you know? Is this personal? Sure. Do you have any kind of personal connection to it? Do you know anyone, or did you? What kind of research did you do to kind of yeah. gather knowledge to portray it effectively? I did a little bit of everything, I guess, as as much as I could. I mean, I you know, I did, the, I studied, I, I found some people that I um, online actually that I, I um, was able to draw from. Well, both in mania, one person was very fast, and another person was like extremely slow. But they, neither one of them were in the depressed state. They were both manic in the manic state. Um, it's very interesting to try and fuse the two. Um, but the most helpful thing, I think, is uh, I have a, a relative of mine who uh, struggles with bipolar disorder. I got a chance to see him uh, go through a manic state before I came back to, you know, we, we shot the pilot and I did Selma while I was doing Selma. Had a family reunion and, um, you know, spent time with, with my family member and, and watched him basically, you know, uh, talk to himself, mm -hmm. you know, uh, for like an hour and a half. And, you know, it's crazy. I'm in another room listening, thinking, who are you having a conversation with? And come in, he's by himself and just all over the place. And I didn't know how useful it would be. This guy, I mean, he's brilliant. You know, he's, uh, you know, a fantastic human being, just imbalanced when he's not taking his medication. It was, it was very interesting to see and to try and pull that together uh, for the character of Andre. Andre, um, is the black sheep of the family. He's somebody who's given his life, given his uh, his his tools, his resources, all of that he is to the business. And you know, the the person who runs the business, his father, isn't really giving anything back. Empire isn't really giving anything back. And then you get the news that you're in contention. He's in contention for the title of CEO with the rest of his brothers, who uh, have no business savvy at all. They're just musically gifted. And, um, you know, he goes to some really dark places in addition to being imbalanced with the bipolar disorder um, and the family dysfunction. His mother's been in jail, so, you know, he feels very much alone. To be able to tap into that space, you know, in my manhood, where's the loneliness, you know? And he does some, he goes to some really deep, dark lengths as far as, you know, pulling a gun on himself, to, you know, yeah. attempted suicide. Uh, um, Playing the the scenes uh, in the the elevator and the boardroom where you know he's completely out of control, but has embraced this this crazy ride um, as a way of embracing himself, as a way of sticking it to his father as, and, and his brother and everybody else in his life. You know, just taking that ride. It was deep and it was dark. I I I, I pulled from 2013 in those moments where you know I felt deep and dark and in a you know dismal type of, you know, prison that I held myself in, ultimately until I was able to surrender, like I told you about. You know, it was, it was useful.